Autonomy in agriculture is starting to roll on all cylinders across the U.S. From this fully autonomous New Holland tractor and grain cart powered by Raven Omni Drive Autonomous Technology to Kubota unveiling its vision for an autonomous future during CES this year. A transformation in ag equipment is unfolding right before our eyes. It couldn't be a more interesting and exciting time to be in the equipment industry because of all the new technology that has been released really within the last six months. Kurt Blades of the Association of Equipment Manufacturers, or AEM, says in the West, the focus is answering a major need, the shortage of labor. Harvesting a strawberry. A strawberry is a soft fruit that needs careful consideration. We've never been able to mechanically harvest a strawberry in an efficient way because we haven't had the technology, the artificial intelligence, the sensors to be able to detect whether it's the right shade of green, the right shade of red, and then also handle it with kid gloves. That's available now. And that's amazing how much different that technology is, is quickly exploding. In the Midwest, the autonomy trends look a bit different. Instead of smaller driverless equipment, major equipment manufacturers made a splash at recent shows with the largest horsepower combine and tractors yet, all with autonomous capabilities. We've been very clear that by 2030, we want to have a full production system for corn and soybeans that is fully autonomous. But you'll see us bringing out over the successive years more autonomy solutions in each of the steps across the production system. Aaron Wetzel is the VP of Production Systems for the Production and Precision Ag Business at John Deere. And in his 35 years with the company, he says he's amazed with the amount of change he's seen in just the past five. And that's fueled by things like artificial intelligence. It's machine learning capabilities. It's clear ag technology is driving changes in equipment today. And in fact, I don't think we can quite comprehend how different the ag, ag space is going to look 10, 20, 30 years from now than what it looks today. Kubota is another company embracing the changing world of ag equipment. We need technology to harvest the data so we can make better decisions. If we can make better decisions, then the sustainability, I mean, doing more for less, we can start doing that. To find the labor usages, can we automate our equipment and or uh, use technology to make the best operator your everyday operator? And, and I think that's where we're, we're investing in. Todd Stuckey is president of Kubota Tractor Corporation, but also the chairman of AEM, which allows him to explore autonomy on a much broader scale. One thing that we need to do as an industry is make sure the regulation follows the technology. So we don't want to have an autonomous tractor that we have to have a person in it. So uh, those are the type of things that our industry must address. But the biggest hurdle for ag tech adoption in the coming years just may be commodity prices, with most major equipment manufacturers forecasting both equipment and technology sales to fall this year. The challenge we have is that technology investments in general, even in a declining commodity market, can pay for itself in one year. Daryl Matthews is a recently retired exec with Trimble. He says the greatest example of ROI may be with the most widely adopted technology today. Probably the best and most well-known technology is guidance and steering technology. It's at about 80% penetration, but it can pay $15 an acre on an average corn production uh, back to a farmer in less overlap, less fuel, uh, and less inputs. Technology as a tool is what will allow farmers to make more precise real-time decisions, uncovering a future of smart farming like nothing we've ever seen. The impact is going to be very interesting for the next five years because we're just beginning to see the rapid adoption of that sensor technology, that optics technology, and seeing what that means for a farmer.